With me is Patrick Bertegna of the CEO of GTX, and we're going to learn about GTX today and what all this company is about. So welcome, Patrick. And uh, let's just start. Tell me about GTX. So what is the company? What is the mission? We're in the health and safety business. We operate under three different business units. So we have our uh, tracking and monitoring solutions. We manufacture and distribute medical supplies and we license intellectual property. Okay, so we got a nice overview. Can you give us a little more detail about each of those three and exactly what happens in those units? Certainly. So our, um, in our tracking monitoring uh, unit, we're, uh, we're probably best known for our flagship product, which is the GPS Smart Soul. Um, you may have seen this on the uh, Keeping Up with the Kardashians show. Um, it's, a, it's an embedded GPS device uh, intended to track and monitor people with cognitive memory disorders. Then in our medical supply division, we manufacture and distribute uh, everything from masks, to sanitizers, gloves, uh, UV systems. Um, and we sell that to uh, both the consumer and to the medical community. Uh, and then we have a pretty extensive intellectual property portfolio uh, and patents, and we license that out to other technology companies. Interesting masks, sanitizers, COVID-19 test kits. I mean, it's a super hot area right now. Um, it is. So, well, let's talk about your customer base. So who would your customers be? So we sell everyone from the U.S. government to small, medium-sized businesses, to the medical community. We do a lot direct to consumer. Um, we, um, we have a presence in over 35 countries. Many of our products are reimbursement eligible. So we work with insurance companies and government agencies as well, fire departments, police departments. Um, we have a pretty wide gamut of customers, mm -hmm. both domestically and international. international. Well, and it's really interesting that you have, you know, the masks and, and these are some of the high quality masks, like the N95 masks and things, sanitizers. I mean, because during early in the pandemic, we heard or realized how much of this we get from overseas, but these are all made in the U.S., right? A lot of them are, yes. We make uh, our sanitizers we make in the U.S., some of our masks we make in the U.S., as many of our face shields we're making in the U.S., as many products that we were able to source material for early on in the pandemic uh, and, and manufacture and, and secure sourcing and manufacturing in the U.S., we did. I mean, obviously, we weren't able to do everything, but uh, we did our best to, we're big promoters of Made in USA. Yeah. Um, and then there was a COVID pre-screen test. This is something I had not heard of. Explain what the pre-screen test is. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, so the pre-screen test is an early diagnostic um, uh, smell test designed for asymptomatic people. Uh, you may have heard that one of the early symptoms of COVID is the loss of smell. And so interestingly enough, uh, the CDC just came out this weekend, this past weekend, with some guidelines and recommendations uh, for employers that they, th they think that they should uh, test uh, all their employees at home. And, and one of the check boxes is to test for smell or loss of smell. So our, our test actually is very small. Um, it, it's unique for these three reasons. It's very small. It's about the size of a business card. Um, it gives you results in less than one minute. Um, and it's got a digital footprint. So you know when you took the test because it involves an app. So you answer some questions, you smell a strip, you answer some questions, and it's time stamped and geo stamped. So it's really great to monitor all your employees. It's really great if um, you're running, let's say, a Coliseum or a movie theater, large venue, a theater. If you want to test people quickly um, and get results really fast, and it's also non invasive, that's the best part of it. Um, and you have a tracker, you know, you have a time stamp of when you did all this. So it's really good for down the road, if you need to ever prove out whether or not you tested these people, you have a, you have a digital footprint. Oh, how interesting. Okay. Um, so just to, how can we learn more about the company and some of the products and what you're up to? So on the product side, uh, it's pretty easy. We have a dedicated website, online presence, GTX mask. Dot com. Um, you also have Amazon. We have over a thousand online affiliates. So we have a, a pretty, we have international distributors. So um, finding us online, if you just 
you Google us and, and you'll find us. Mm -hmm. um, or just like I said, go to gtxmass.com and you'll see our, uh, our entire portfolio of products. Mm -hmm. um, on the company side, um, gtxcorp.com is our, is our public website. Um, we're publicly traded. We trade under the ticker symbol GTXO. Um, so lots of information about us all online. All right. So if somebody wants to find out more from an investor point of view, they can go to GTX Corp and then products GTX mask. Correct. So, yes. Okay. Very interesting to learn about GTX today, Patrick. I look forward to some more updates this year. Great. Thank you. Thank you.